Anyone that really learned middle school and high school math should be able to easily answer this question. Let's take a look at the problem. So if all the edges of a cube are doubled, what is the percent of increase in the volume? All right, so that is the problem, but we do have a multiple choice question here. And let's take a look at our answers. So A is 200%, B is 400%, C is 500% and D is 700%. Okay, now feel free to use a calculator, but if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm gonna fully solve this in just one second. But before we get started, let me quickly tell you who I am. My name is John and I have been teaching math for decades. And if you need help in math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this problem. I'm actually gonna solve it in real time. So there's different ways to approach this problem, but uh, make sure to at least try it and put your answers or just take a guess, put that into the comment section. But uh, let's take a look at the full solution right now. Okay, so because we are talking about a cube, it's probably a pretty good idea for us to sketch a cube. Now, you really want to try to improve your 3D sketching ability when you study geometry and mathematics, but you don't have to be a perfect artist, but try to uh, come up with a uh, pretty accurate figure so you can understand the problem. Okay, so this is a basic sketch of a cube because the problem is talking about a cube. Now, what is a cube? Well, of course, it's a three-dimensional uh, figure or object but basically uh, the width, the height, and the length, how you look at it, is the same dimension. In other words, the sides here are all squares. So because we are talking about the volume of a cube, there's actually a lot going on in this problem because we need to understand the percent of increase. But if we don't understand what a cube is and how to find the volume of a cube, well, we're gonna have a tough time solving this problem. So uh, the problem says, if all the edges of a cube are doubled, okay, so in other words, let's go down here, for example, if uh, this cube had the dimensions of one, one, and one, now we double the side. So let's just draw another cube here, and I'm gonna try to make this a little bit bigger, but of course, I don't wanna run out of room here, but just to kind of get the general idea. So if all the uh, sides of the cube, all the edges of the cube are doubled, that means we're gonna go from one to what? Well, we're gonna go to one to two, all right? So this one is gonna be two here, and this dimension will be two right here. Okay, so this is the basic situation. Now you could use actual values like this to figure out the answer to this problem, or you could use an algebraic uh, variable like x. So for example, I could let x represent uh, the width, height, and length of this cube. But you'll get the same answer anyways. All right, so this is basically uh, what's going on in the problem. So it says if all the edges of a cube are doubled, what is the percent of increase in the volume? All right, so now that we understand kind of uh, visually what's going on in this problem, we need to understand the formula for the volume of a cube. And the volume of a cube is the length times the width times the height. Now, because uh, all these sides here are the same uh, measurement, we could also write this as the volume being S cubed if the sides here are S, right? But basically it's the length times the width times the height. Okay, so this is the formula for the volume of a uh, cube. So what we could do here is simply calculate the volume of each of these cubes. All right, so the volume of this cube is going to be the length times the width times the height, or one times one times one, or one. Okay, so the volume of this cube here is one, and the volume of this cube is gonna be what? Well, the volume is going to be two times two times two, or eight. Okay, so the volume went from one to eight. So that's basically what's going on here in terms of the increase of volume, all right? So if you double the sides or the edges of a cube, what's gonna happen is your volume is going to go from one to eight. So now we need to deal with the second half of this problem, and that is what is the percent of increase in the volume? 
Okay, so percent of increase can be a little bit confusing. So before I show you the actual uh, math to find the percent of increase, let's just talk about some basic concepts. So um, if our current volume is one, and this volume is going to uh, eight, if we double the edges of the sides, well, there's an increase in volume that we can measure by percentage. But let's just take a simple example. So if I said the current volume of this cube is one, and I said, if we want to increase the volume 100%, what would be the new volume? All right, so hopefully you're saying, well, if we increase the volume, the current volume of one, uh, 100%, well, the new volume is going to be two, all right? Because 100% of one is one, right? So let's just make sure you understand this here. So if I have one here, and 100% of one is in fact one, right? So if we increase the volume of something that's already one, 100%, what we're doing is adding another one to it. Now, let's suppose I said our current volume is one, but let's increase the volume by 50%, right? So what's a 50% increase if the current volume is one? So the new volume would be what? Well, it would be one plus one half, right? So one and one half would be the new volume. So percent of increase can be a little bit confusing. So back over here with this uh, simple example, a 100% uh, increase is going to be two, right? So if our current volume is one and we increase the volume 100%, it's going to be two. So if we increase the volume of 300%, what do you think the new volume is going to be? Well, if you're saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I think the new volume is going to be three. Well, you would be absolutely right. But here we have to be very careful because we're looking for the percent of increase starting from one going to eight. All right, so we're gonna have to do some basic math here to figure out the percent of increase. Okay, so let's talk about how to calculate the percent of increase. So there is a formula, but I like to explain things where you don't have to really remember a formula. And uh, let's just kind of establish a few things here. So what we're doing is we're going from an old or an original amount to a new amount. So in other words, we're going from this original volume of one and we're increasing the volume to eight. So there is a percentage of increase that's going on here. So you wanna be thinking in terms of the starting amount to the new amount. All right, so here is the formula and I'll show you the formula, but once you actually use the formula, I think it will uh, make better sense. So what we're gonna do is we're going to compare the difference of the new amount minus the old or starting or uh, original amount to the original or old amount, all right? So in other words, we're going from one to eight. So we wanna find the difference from one to eight. So what we're gonna do is take eight and subtract it from one. So we're gonna take that new amount because we're talking about the percent of increase and subtract away the original starting amount. So obviously that is going to be seven, but let's go ahead and write out the numbers here. So it's going to be eight minus one and we're gonna compare it to the original starting amount, which of course is one. All right, so eight minus one over one is going to be the percent of increase, but we're not quite done because eight minus one is what? Well, that's seven or seven over one, which of course is seven. But this is a number, it's not a percent. So how do we change a number into a percent? Easy, all we have to do is multiply it by 100 or move the decimal point over two places to the right. So seven is really 7.0. And if we move the decimal point over two places to the right, we're going to get 700%, which of course is the right answer. Okay, so going back to our question here, because we do have a multiple choice question, we can see that the correct choice or the correct answer is D, 700%. Now, if you got this right, I definitely have to give you a nice little happy face and A plus, that is fantastic. You definitely need to understand the percent of increase. This is a basic math concept that confuses a lot of people, but uh, in terms of percent problems, percent of increase and decrease problems are very common. 
All right, so if this video helped you out, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you need additional help with percentage or basic geometry, make sure to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to all of that in the description below. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.